Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Rats Electors. And today we're doing Dreamcast Exclusives Volume 6. When I first started this series, I didn't realize I was going to get to Volume 6. And there's many volumes after that. And if you haven't watched any of the volumes, here's a playlist up here to just make sure you guys get caught up with all the Dreamcast exclusives. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Ooga Booga. Developed by Visual Concepts, released September 13th, 2001, and sold 13,000 units in North America. Ooga Booga is an action and adventure game that has you, the player, take control of one of four tribes called Kahunas and battle in mini games to determine which tribe is the strongest on the island. The three mini games mix very distinct gameplay elements Smack Kahuna, Rodeo, and Boar Polo. Smackahuna is a deathmatch minigame where you must use shrunken heads as ammo that are found growing on trees throughout the level. Rodeo consists of the kahunas trying to take control of a moving boar and stay atop of it as long as possible, while other kahunas try to knock you off. Think of it as a moving king of the hill. Lastly, boar polo is where the kahunas are in teams and must use boars to knock a boulder in the opposing team's net. Released 19 years ago, you can still play this online, which is unbelievable. NHL 2K. Developed by Black Box Games, released February 9th, 2000, and sold 316,000 units in North America. Following behind the super successful NFL and NBA franchises, Black Box looked at Visual Concepts' lead at how to make a successful sports franchise. Though released five months after Dreamcast launch, NHL 2K's presentation and overall package was a huge breath of fresh air in the comparison to what EA Electronic Arts was giving its fans. NHL 2K was so successful, it became one of the 17 games that was chosen for Sega All-Stars, Sega's version of budget games. When this first came out, I remember playing this constantly and trying to knock the puck into the water bottle, like basically raising the roof. So you were able to knock the, the water bottle off the net if you collided into the net. I thought you can knock it off with the puck, you know, hit it and knock the water bottle off the back of the net. And I was tried that over and over and over and over again. I, couldn't do it. I tried so many replays, tried to figure out how to raise the puck a certain way. I couldn't figure out how to do it. And still to this day, I still can't figure out how to do it very well. But I remember playing this constantly when this first came out. And I love the cover athlete. I'm a Red Wings fan. So the fact that Brendan Shanahan's on the cover was a no brainer for me. Armada, developed by Metro 3D Inc. Released October 31st, 1999 in North America and sold 55,000 units. Armada is a space role-playing shooter. The Armada is an alien race that caused destruction throughout the universe. Humankind has fled Earth to find solace. Armada's multiplayer is where it truly shined. The ability to team up with a crew of friends and take down the Armada is a great addition. Originally slated as a launch title for the Dreamcast, a bunch of delays postponed it to October. Reviewers gave it glowing praises. In 2000, a game set in the same universe as Armada was released for the Game Boy Color called Armada EX Racers. NFL 2K. Developer Visual Concepts released September 9th, 1999 in North America and sold 990,000 units, one of the most successful games on the Dreamcast. The Sega Dreamcast launch lineup was second to none. Visual Concepts took the proverbial ball and ran with it. NFL 2K was one of the biggest selling sports franchise and EA Electronic Arts hated every minute of it. Presentation, character models, and gameplay brought forth a generation gap in comparison to what other football games were like. I've covered this game countless times. The memory that I've had on this game was just doing replays over and over and over again and spiraling the ball down the field and trying to catch that moment when the ball falls in your player's hands, which was an unbelievable moment. And I remember watching that over and over again on replays and seeing this game now, it's still kind of rough on the edges, but when it first came out, it was second to none. And EA knew it right out of the bat. Red Dog, developed by Argonaut Games, released October 31st, 2000, and sold 17,000 units. Red Dog is an action game similar to Star Fox, but instead of an R-Wing and Flippy yelling at you to do a barrel roll, you instead control an all-terrain vehicle, the Red Dog. The game looks fantastic. The graphics really stand out on a CRT. The controls are tight and responsive and have you starting with inverted controls. I'm personally not a fan of these, but they can be switched at any moment. Red Dog is fairly difficult, but with a slow and steady pace, it can be knocked down a little bit. You can also play four player split screen. It feels like Mario Kart mixed with Quake. The game looks fantastic. The sound is kind of muddled a little bit, but the gameplay alone is fun enough to get you through. Getting used to the controls is a major component of this game, but its difficulty level does spike quite fast. And there you have it. Five more Dreamcast exclusives for the Dreamcast that never reached any other console. Hence exclusives. Let me know what you guys think. 
If you guys played any of these games, please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.